Last week I flew from New York back to Singapore. 20 hour flight, that's 20 hours in an airplane. It's a long time, it has an effect on the body. What I did is I came right back to the studio and took a class. If you want an antidote for jet lag, you need to come and do a hot yoga class. It made such a difference. And it's particularly important and relevant to this video because I really felt it in, in awkward pose, in all three parts, including this last and third part that we're presenting today. I could feel it in my knees and my hips after sitting that long in a small chair in, in, in an airplane. The, uh, the, the stiffness in, in, in those joints was really present for me in this posture. So that was just one particular aspect of this practice uh, that, that was helpful for, uh, for overcoming a long flight like that. It reoxygenates us as well. It was really a wonderful experience. It's kind of like a reset button for a long flight. If you've been in an airplane, get off the plane, go to the studio, take a class. In this third part of Awkward Pose, Casey is demonstrating here in this side-by-side -side photograph of how you need to get the upper body perfectly straight with the shoulders over the hips. Notice in the left side photograph, he's leaning a little bit back. You want to get the back of the head and hips as if they were leaning against the wall. And from the side, the body looks like, like a box, kind of like a box with the thighs parallel to the floor, the center line of legs, the femur bone parallel to the floor. But remember, this is an ideal representation. The reason that we're showing clips from a regular class is we want you to notice that people struggle. People don't do these postures perfectly. You do the best you can. You do try to achieve the idealized version as best you can, but don't be discouraged. It takes some time to get good at this. Just come, do the best you can. Very slowly you go down, at least 10 counts. Leaning against the wall, take your time. Go slowly, all the way down, all the way down. Slow down even more as you get toward the bottom, like an elevator coming to a stop. Keep a straight spine. Keep your elbows locked, stretching your arms forward. Continuously stretch your spine up toward the ceiling so you have a small gap between the hips and heels. Throughout the posture, back of the head and hips touching the wall, straight spine, you're leaning against the wall. Keep your knees together, forward toward the mirror, thighs parallel to the floor, arms parallel to the legs, spine straight from the side of the body's like a box. Now keep the knees together, stomach in, and bounce a couple of times. Bounce and bounce and bounce to show that you have control, and then hold it. Knees together, stomach in, take a deep breath, slowly come up. Straight spine, try not to lean forward. Bring your feet back together, arms down, side. So we'll see you the next time when we present Eagle Pose. A lot of little details in Eagle Pose that we'll go over in the video. We'll see you then.